There have been some exciting cases in the history of crime. In the last 20 years, there has hardly been a more spectacular case than that of this man, Todd Kolhep, one of the most notorious serial offenders in the USA, whose crimes were considered unsolvable for years, until he made a serious mistake and got himself an Amazon account. But more on that in a moment. In this video, we want to introduce you to the incredible story of one of the most feared but perhaps also smartest criminals the world has ever seen. You can expect not only a crazy life story between prison, escape, and wealth, but also probably the craziest method ever to catch a felon. It's going to be extremely exciting, so stay tuned here at Wonderlane. Before we get to how Todd Kolhep not only took out numerous people in a terrible way and was sensationally convicted years later, let's briefly explain who Kolhep is in the first place. Todd Kolhep is a now 50-year-old American who grew up under extremely difficult circumstances in South Carolina and Georgia. Already at the age of two, he experienced his first trauma trauma, which contributed to the fact that he developed an extremely disturbed relationship with his fellow man. Namely, his parents separated in a very unpleasant way. Shortly after this separation, a new husband moved in with his mother, with whom Kolhep now had to spend a lot of time. However, since the two got along extremely poorly since the beginning, and Kolhep would actually have much preferred to spend time with his biological father, he became very conspicuous already in elementary school. As a nine-year-old, he was not only considered a bully who bullied his classmates and destroyed their property for no reason, he also received psychological treatment at this age. In addition to his bad behavior towards his classmates, he was also caught torturing animals and was addicted at a young age to adult movies that were anything but appropriate for his age. This behavior ultimately led him to finally being sent back to his biological father after an inpatient stay in a psychiatric ward. But here began a phase that ultimately caused Kolhep to be locked up in prison at some point for the rest of his life. At the age of 15, Todd Kolhep came into contact with his father's gun collection for the first time. At that age, he also committed his first serious crime. At gunpoint, he kidnapped a 14-year-old girl, who he then not only violated, but also forced to perform intimate acts against her will, which ultimately led to him being sentenced to 15 years in prison. But if you think that this sentence should have a different effect, you are completely wrong. After his release in 2001, it turned out that Todd Kolhep is much more than a crazy psychopath with disturbed tendencies. With a proven IQ of 118, he is also considered extremely intelligent. After his release, he used this intelligence to build a completely new life for himself. Because he earned a college degree in computer science while in prison, and after his release, a bachelor's degree in business administration and marketing, Kolhep found it easy to find well-paying jobs despite his past. He also founded a real estate company that not only made him the most successful broker in the Carolinas, but also made him extremely wealthy. Unfortunately, this lifestyle did not make Todd Kolhep a civilized citizen. Quite the opposite. In addition to his professional success, he had a dark secret from 2003, which was only revealed over a decade later. In that year, police officers in the small American town of Chesney made a terrible discovery. Four dead bodies were found in a motorcycle store, gruesomely killed by gunshots. These four victims were the work of Kolhelp, who, according to some press reports, had felt provoked by the owner of the store when he went there to have his motorcycle repaired. For this reason, he then went berserk and finished off all the employees who were in the store. At that time, investigators were still completely in the dark and had no leads until 2016. That year, two young cleaners who had been hired to clean Kolhep's estate disappeared. As it turned out afterwards, one of the cleaners probably had a mouth too loose for Kolhep, which is why he liquidated one of the cleaners and held the other one captive in a container for weeks as his servant. There, he chained her to the wall and gave her food once a day while he did terrible things to her, which we will not go into more detail here. In addition, Kolhep had already removed two neighbors in the months before and buried them on his property. All these crimes remained unsolved, and for a long time, it looked as if Todd Kolhep would be able to continue his terrible double life unmolested. It wasn't until the end of 2016 that investigators came up with a lead that was absolutely unique and that no one had expected, and that was Amazon. 
Namely, he cynically rated numerous items that actually helped him commit his crimes. For example, he evaluated an extra large piece of plastic wrap by saying that it was very good for transporting lifeless people in a car without making a mess. About a padlock that he actually used to lock someone in a cage, Kolhep truthfully wrote that it successfully prevented people from escaping. For many other buyers, these reviews initially seemed like bad jokes, but no one probably thought anything more of it. But when a police officer discovered by chance that the profile to which the comments belonged was under the same name of Todd Kolhep, they became skeptical. Since Kolhep was still being closely watched by the authorities more than 15 years after his release, a few police officers decided to pay him a visit. What they then found on his property was not only shocking, but also ensured that one of the most notorious criminals in the USA was finally caught after more than 13 years. On Kolhep's estate, which, by the way, was completely sealed off from the neighbors with high fences, the investigators found not only numerous weapons and forbidden objects, but also containers from which people were desperately calling for help. Among them was the missing cleaner who could finally be rescued. Kolhep was then immediately arrested and taken to the police station. But what happened next was, for many observers of the case, almost as bizarre as the sick crimes themselves. During the subsequent investigations, Kolhep did not proclaim his innocence like other criminals, but claimed that there were many more people he had on his conscience and subsequently hidden. He even said that he had eliminated more than a dozen people without showing any motive, not to mention any remorse. Although these dead people have not been found to date, since there have been numerous unsolved crimes in the Carolina region over the past 20 years, many assume that Todd Kolhep has done away with many more people than he was initially proven to. To conclude this video, we would like to briefly discuss what happened after Kolhep was convicted by his evaluations. Because the evidence left no room for doubt and Kolhep wanted to avoid the death penalty at all costs, he pleaded guilty in May of 2017 to all charges that could be proven against him. For this reason, he was subsequently sentenced to prison, which put him behind bars for a term of seven times life. Todd Kolhep will thus never again be allowed to enjoy a life of freedom. Moreover, in 2020, all of Kolhep's property was auctioned off, resulting in the proceeds being donated to the families of his victims. Well, that's it for our video and this bizarre story about one of the most wanted serial killers in the world, who was ultimately caught only because of his cynical Amazon ratings. Write us in the comments what you think about this case. Otherwise, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to Wonderlane for more exciting videos, and we'll see you next time here at Wonderlane.